Yes, we have a Praise Jesus. I want to thank the grace of God for the men and women here. I want to thank the grace of God for those online. We love you. We pray for you. May God bless you. Thank you for following us. May the Lord bless you. Our visitors, you are very welcome. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to thank the grace of God for the women here and the men. May the Lord bless you. Please. Let's clap for our husbands. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm a pastor here with Pastor Susan Bakamu. Mufumbo. She's a married woman. Please, Pastor. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, we have Praise Jesus. Nabalala, nabalala, and, the Lord, and the other Lord. So within the grace of God, God that has brought us here, praise the Lord. We're going to share the word in a few minutes. Prepare your questions. You know, we are going to clean up. Praise the Lord. We are going to speak out. We are going to share. You know, friendly. Our doctor will come and speak to us. Pastor Frederick will come and share. Praise the Lord. May God give me the grace to preach to your hearing in the name of Jesus. There is something I've discovered, I've understood, something I've come to understand. I'm tired of delaying in salvation. You know, eyes begin to you. God God's everyone is just a young girl, 15 years old. I'm now 53 years old, walking in salvation, but not very late. And I've been walking very uprightly ever since I wouldn't have been at this level today. Brethren, sin will delay you. Wicked character can delay you. There is nothing as bad as not identifying what your mistake is. Praise the Lord. There is nothing as bad as not recognizing what your mistake is. I was very quarrelsome at some point. But my husband could try to speak to me. And instead of admitting my mistake, I only asked him, you think you are very pious? I didn't want to accept defeat. I could not bow in. Praise the Lord. It's a moment now. There is nothing that attacked you that attacked your marriage without a mother to wait. There's nothing. It started somewhere to come to such a level in your family. Which those were they that the devil used? What thing did you despise? That, you know, in our nation, Uganda today, the spirit of divorce is very rampant. It's moving very, very fast. Which channel? Why is it so? Where does the pass? These are the things we take to despise. Yet they are channels that can fail your marriage or even your life. That little thing you may despise. That thing you may despise. Something you may despise. Could be just a friend. Some friendship. That is still stuck in your life. That causes you know the breath of your Your wife spoke and you refused. Your husband spoke to you. You refused to listen. Now, Gafa. your marriage broke. I was quarrelsome. Here is my husband. He left me in the house and quit. My, nowadays, men divorce. They run away from home because of my quarrelsomeness. I got married when I was already a pastor. But the one who had married me was just a follower. 
My character was failing him with, uh, I mean, from I found him But my behavior was almost failing him to get saved. Something you may think is very small. Just a friend. They have taken our marriage as well. Very dear. They pass the other side and love you. Someone. Just. You know. You never tell your wife you're smart. Yet they tell them they're smart. Something slight. If you're not smart, you are even to one. You know, this devil finds a word that you don't you don't tell you and tells it to her. There are things you take slightly, yet they are very, very crucial. Adam. Never knew. The snake spoke what Adam had not spoken. What Yet someone else it. You know, Nyo. something small. Hey. Something. Hey. No. I was testified here. Let's turn to the book of Nehemiah. Never despise that little thing. That thing which you despise is the very problem that makes you look like that. I got married. My husband has an uncle of his who lives in the UK. When he heard that, the, that, the, that the, his uh, you know, nephew had got married, he called him to congratulate him. I received this call. The newly married. You know, the bride, newly married, received this call of my uncle. Hello! Hey! That's how I responded. And he asked me, Who received this Who are you? And then he cut off. He called later and asked. And he, he picked it. And he asked him, Who received the call at first? And said, You know my bride. And he asked him, Where did you get that rascal from? My uncle has never seen me. He's very anxious to find time to come and see the kind of rascal Simo married. How did he know how bad I was? By my speech. You Mama, speak. Your speech is very bad. People have fled you because of your wicked people. Someone saying, Pastor can get you. Something slight. Just the speech. Your in-laws don't like you. Your sisters, brothers have left you because you're. Now, now my in-law is out there. He wants to find time. Oh God. To come and see the rascal in the nephews, you know. Home. Nehemiah. Chapter four, verse eleven. Our enemies said they will neither know nor see anything until so we come into their midst. That thing that you think is a weakness you don't take to be serious is what the enemy is using. Something small. Someone just hey, some no. Oh, don't you have hands? No. Yet some people are very uh, desirous outside there. You see the, there are people that see her. Some lady came here. She was good. She's even here. She said to the husband. We have three children now. Why don't you go to my home? 
Just looking at you. And he said this to her. All the other people would have spoken, but not you. If you and me to go to your home, even if it's just a visit or introduction, yes, Jesus has to first come back. Yes, Jesus comes back. But the kind of wife she's, he's talking to like that was very good and presentable. Then she started a shop. You know this man was disregarding her. In the shop is where she found another. Woman. Married or not? I'm not, she said. You sure you don't have a man? Well, I have one, but the father I just request if he doesn't know your value please let me take you to where I want I want your parents to see you please, please. your children will be mine I, I need you in my life desiring what yes, you know the other one said hey, no. come back. yet this way no. No. she if you go to him, you can tell that person. Yeah. 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 This man. Yeah. You remember that man that had children Mama with me? Now doesn't recognize him. Yeah. But someone yeah. else yeah. 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 Why are you in right now he has given oh, it to me. Oh, no. The other one has never given her anything. But just looks in your heart. Don't confuse yourself. The devil is a test. He is looking for a way. The, the, you know, that party of light is teams where it passes. I tried to speak to the girl, the lady, she couldn't. I said, you have something for mm. this room? Mm. Yes, I have them. Mm. I have them. I said, you can tell them what you can tell them. But she's already socked. Yes, she's already But she's already socked. Our enemy said we will, they would never see anything. There are things you're reluctant about. Some door you left open just for a week. You, you don't care. You don't bathe. You know. Just whether they have eaten or not. That look. For. I know. I told Mrs. Mogere. I don't need money. But I just need time. Speak to me at least. You don't give time to that woman. Very, very, very dangerous. Speak to her. Recently we were at Miracle Center. These words came from the mouth of Pastor Jessica Kayanja. I got married to Muse when they were without income. But one thing is, what promises? Jessica, I will build you a house where you get lost. But they didn't have where to live. You fly and become a frequent flyer. You see these, you know, I'm going to build a glass world church. Let me tell you, Jessica, our children will study from abroad. Not these usual schools. Promise that woman of yours who bewitched you. Promise her. Can you also fail that? You know you're not lying. Promise her. Speak to her. I love you. Look at the sun. At least you can continue with for a year. You have nothing to buy. Can't you even speak a word? Thank you, husband. He has nothing. Mr. Samogiri here. We were in extreme poverty at some point. And he was using my money. I could give him money for graduated tax. And he could not say thank you. 
So we could quarrel. And like, what's wrong with you? My brother said thank you. He couldn't. Today, in the name of Jesus. There are things I want you to know. Your life to overcome. I mean, to bow. You're not bowing out. Don't overcome this. Man or woman. Please don't. Let's humble so. You marry to a friend. Speak to her. Him. You know, humanly, as it is, I have no money. Praise the Lord. I told of Mrs. Mugere the food on his food. And he had the spirit of refusing to eat. He could refuse to eat and then coil in. I just wanted to... Amen. <laughs> so he could just refuse to eat. This it goes even beyond food. How many of us understand that? <laughs> he could stay for a month. You get the point. Please stop telling your husband of, about food. Just to their request. Stop telling people oh, the Lord told me this I'm going to transform your husband but I'll always give you money and you give it to so him so that he can yes, take care of the I don't know if you understand what I'm saying after abusing him, I could feel ashamed. But I could still give him. Not hiding. Praise the Lord. And God told us if you want to be blessed, let's go. I want to speak to anyone. You will never be blessed unless you are in harmony with your spouse. Praise the Lord. You cannot be blessed unless you are in harmony with your spouse. Please connect. Praise the Lord. Maybe you are not at the same spiritual level. You are more spiritual than him or her. But handle them carefully. Speak to them peaceably. May God give us the grace. Learn to speak peaceably with his people. I wanted my wife, my husband to speak to me. He could not. I said, what is wrong with you? Never repenting. Until I understood. And if I want to rebuke him, ye, to speak to him, I have to do it peacefully. And he told me. Now, now, meaning, he has now repented. When he says it's enough, I just know that is forgiveness. Asking for forgiveness. Of the Lord. The Lord. Yet I repent myself. I apologize. I apologize. I want to say. Has anyone ever heard me quarrel with Mr. Samogera? I just speak peaceably. Change the way you speak, man. Please, I plead with you. Speak peaceably. That's your fellow elder. Praise the Lord. Speak to your friend. Well, our enemies said the family demons and those pursuing us said we shall enter slow. They will never know until we have entered into the midst. Maybe it's a friend but the demons have said that one. Could be your friends, I mean your relatives. Could be anyone. Could be that habit. Man, you're a liar. You like your friends. Like your wife. She will never trust you at all. She will never trust you. Please, Lord, like, don't, don't lie to your husband. Don't call children sick when they have not fallen sick. Don't. That man will never trust you. That woman will never trust you. Don't tell lies. Please stop telling lies. Don't lie to your wife. Don't lie. Woman, don't open a door for your husband to lie to you. 
when he gets some money he has to hide because he doesn't trust you you're a liar don't tell lies don't tell lies stop don't don't tell lies don't tell lies praise the name of Jesus I came to a point of getting married and I told God I don't want to lie to my husband about my age, but let him not ask me about it let me say this again those little things that you overlook are the cause of problems I thank God the people who are not married here man if you're not yet married don't lie to the woman you're going to marry about how many children you have the woman don't lie to that man about tell them about those children open praise the Lord I told the Lord the man to ask me to marry me ask about my age. when you ask, pray to God he listens to you when the day he came <coughs> I took him to my home. He, I was introduced I introduced him there. Praise the Lord. He asked me all the other questions except the age. He only knew about it at the wedding moment. And I was like, You're finished. He asked me, Grace, the years I had in church are they the truth? As, uh, that is after reception. I said, yeah, you're right, you're true. I said, please, please be clear on this. I said, you know. I said, I said you're finished. <laughs> Don't tell lies. Don't tell lies. God said to Mr. Simonke recently, there's a problem. <coughs> That was about 2019. Wherever I come from, I could find my husband on phone. You're talking to him when he's, he's following his scriptures on phone. You know. And I'm back. So, welcome back. He continues tapping the phone. And, yeah. I said, please. Mm -hmm. I, where, what's the door? Okay, I mean, still, you know. How are you? Yeah. We're okay. Which scripture is this? And still <laughs> tapping. <laughs> Look for it. <laughs> it in your Uganda version. <laughs> he continues with his phone. <laughs> Sherry. We need some money. Check in my <laughs> In my bag. Oh, in the wallet. And he continues with his story. When Zachariah was having so and so, you know, I said, please. I grabbed the phone. I said, please. I'm back home. Please. I said, let me tell you. I never got I said, please. The phone, Bible, no, no, no. How many of us have smartphones here? Please, lift up your hands. You know, to gain the name of Jesus. This demon that came through the phone. There was phones. What did God tell you, Pastor, about the phone? I'll call you later, but the spirit in that form it becomes a problem. It became the owner of the home. The woman has it and forgets the food. The husband has it and forgets everything because of it. Yes. He told me there is a ghost in that form. He dreamt when I was very bitter and someone told him Samogere, that form has a ghost in it a ghost that breaks marriages those friends they came by phone that's where every wickedness is that spoils yeah, our marriages yeah, more anyone with a testimony about phones, if you can testify you can raise your hands anyone marriages are failing because of phones, because of friendships 
someone who bewitched you who bewitched you which kind of friendships are they that you have? Those friendships that are useless. You mean you can't you find any 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 more sensible. Kind of of you married to one of the you know, Yes, underground. Nti bantu banji basaba nyo friend request ku simu ni aba singa kuno kungulu kuba ke chifana nyingo lobo ba mtu muzungu ba chifana nyo na na yenga bo chatinga na bo si bantu mbo yagana nafu na bantu bali lukumi kubanga yali yali yinga na yenga tanabitegera bulungi kati nage nanga ba wandika amanya gebe muwa kati bo yamalo okuwandika kati e yamutwala na mugamba olwacho ba wandi soko naga bana bantu 24 hours babera online Lwachi tebe baka bote bafuna tulo na mugamba ati ejo mikwanu banafe baba tuchekinga ko kati na mubuza nnyo nnyo kigenda munda oli chi yavaja ina code ku mukono na nyiga kati bine bifana nyine bya bikula ne bivako na mulaga abantu bulijjo bayogera na bonga skeleton zimi zimu ngajita ambula na ajimo bikulira jonna the marriage was breaking up. I mean, the farm was breaking up. Oh, kusimu. Tajambuliri. Maske mama. Avera kusimu. Avera mudiri. The husband is always He can't come to bed. Avera mudiro. O tuwa netu mtu wali lane mudiru. Nga aliku simu. Na atu ukano kuze mikuwane mikade. Na atu sano kuza wa girlfriend vya li ya leka. Nze chenkula. Nga wankoli mire simu. Ngefa. Era uli wechisituka. Those are the ones who are cracks. Uli wechisituka. Nga wankoli mire. Nge yatika. Nga ube bula. Nga efune chintu chona. Kupanga uli wabela na yunga chisituka. Ngachija She's a married woman. You're just sitting, is breaking in the house. Praise the Lord. I'm talking to married people. We are the examples. I want us to separate from those people that we use who are valueless to us. Separate from those people. Your life will never progress. Your marriage will never be stable. You are with useless people in your life. Now, I have a daughter of mine with a husband. The woman the husband went astray and committed adultery. Loved the sister in law. He's coming. When the wife discovered it, that the man had fallen in love with his he closed the shop. Praise the Lord. I want to speak to you. The devil is a terrorist. God has given pastor a message. When what breaks marriage is most is adultery. This girl, lady, refused to sleep with her husband and said, he found me unworthy. He locked Securex. 
So I want to ask you now. There is a secret I discovered. You know, repentance is the biggest pillar in marriage. Praise the Lord. Repentance. If you can close that shop, can you wait for her? Endure for two, three years without finding another woman? That devil enemy to righteousness. You know, marriage is about forgiveness. That's why we forgive. God is the author of marriages. You know, I'm not political. I'm not. But there's a gentleman who has a Because he's not not your brother. Apart from Yes. Who can be given leadership when you're not married? You know, marriage is very important. When someone is married, they are more sensible than a 50 year old who is not married. The experience you have is just enough. The church is compared to a family, a marriage. You know, the nation is a marriage. You're not a married an angel. So, forgive him. People need him, please. Just watch. You are here playing around. You are, you know, despising her. After all, you've had children with her. The devil, a long time ago, when Mr. Smogere married me, he had just left the demons had sucked him out. He had just left the shrine. I testified here. I got him when his head was messy. When I lived with him, I also lost control. Man. And at some point, I peeled the food, put it in a saucepan. Then I put the peelings in a basket with a knife and the saucepan with the food, took them to the dustbin, then came back home. Asked him, Where have I put the saucepan? Because he had his problem for a long time. They must be at the dustbin. <laughs> and I found them there. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> Praise Jesus. I understood <laughs> then when you have intercourse with some person, God never made a mistake of giving you that woman. They could be short. Could be the could be, could be. But they are the ones God will ask God you about her. God will ask you about her. Don't neglect your marriage. There are people that are looking for that marriage. But you are neglecting it. You are like, I don't. There are people who need it. I'm sorry. There is a song I heard. But the owner died. The son. The man who sang it. You know, why do you neglect something that you possess? You remember that song. Until someone has left your life. That's when you say, I never knew. The young women that have crosses. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. These trailer drivers, the truck drivers, when they go to sleep with the pilot, and they, they ignite the car the next day and refuse to stop, the excuse they will give is it the woman that came to the car, but he came with that car. So you keep moving around. Praise Jesus. I want to but it's anyway. Your husband is tumbling. Your wife is tumbling at something. That thing which your man is persistently doing. We need to. Don't overlook it. 
that character may fail your marriage let's just be silent for a moment think about how many people are married in your family how many family demons are wandering can she be in this marriage all this long so they are trying their best to control people that's why you cannot sleep with your husband they are trying their best and you to spend the nice Friday the moment I could be silent the devil could tell me that's the moment I should go to because you have not told him that, that pain is the one the devil told me to tell him to tell him I wouldn't be here today <laughs> when I tried I said ah, <laughs> that is too much you can remove yourself it was too big you know Praise the name of Jesus. I'm telling you. You should not hide any habit. Very dangerous. Praise the Lord. It's very dangerous. Just have Don't despise this. Don't despise that habit. There is something that has caused your husband to sulk. There is something. Your wife is groaning. Please, in the name of Jesus, today, I pray the grace of God. In the book of Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 15, I'm speaking to the marriage. The words you speak of devolic. Speak to your friend, peace of mind. They are your fellow adults. Don't despise them. Don't despise them before children. I lost a man before. <laughs> and I remember Tata so and so. <laughs> no. You know God, that was a great punishment. I cried. You know, speaking this before you And you think you can go and after showing him you the devil. Oh Lord, my God I lost that man <laughs> she lost a man now this is a mere pair of trousers when it starts to try me to move it, it's just a funny the speaker's going to because of you please you just play how many of us understand this you light list him some you just put Checking you like a doll. And then God helps you. you by How can you call your husband a dog? Anyone here, pastor can get you. <laughs> Those wicked habits. Those words that you speak are very sharp. That's why the man comes to you and is like, Oh. Whatever is happening in our marriages, then the next day, the devil brings he looks very good now. You are calling him a dog. Says, what did you say? Oh, you're smelling nice. You go, okay. Because they talk too well about it. The food is in the flask. But you have hands. How many of us understand this? Don't you have hands? Yeah. 
Ana ya galo kwa uju Yangu Nenu wa mungenda kwa ugeda You will speak out please Jangu Toli read the mom Marriages are breaking you brought your relatives your sisters and brothers they are milking your wife you add you like the father your mother used to I'm not a Muganda but I'm born a man in 1988 I went somewhere I was looking for school fees and I went to from a home to work at a house in a Baganda family. For us, we are Balaro. This is not 98, but 1988. I started working as a house girl. Looking for school fees. And worked in a Baganda home. That's where I learned to kneel. Those Baganda. Oh, in Kampala here. They use banana leaves for cooking. You don't put food in a banana. You have to put it in banana leaves. They, can, they get those, you know. Stocks over. Where you should have put the food at the rim of the saucepan is where they start stacking the food. You feel the food up there, but there is nothing down. This is the Baganda way of cooking. Food for supper is started at midday. midday. Potatoes are started at supper. Then in Guruwombo, you know, we have these uh, vegetables and, you know, problem is when it comes to eating, you have to sit in the same dining place. This is the system of the Baganda serving place. You don't talk while you're eating. You don't put your hand out. You don't munch. You don't look in someone's food, a plate. Now, This is the system. After you have finished eating, you are not allowed to move away from that place when other people are still eating. And you are not allowed to sit on one side. You have to kneel on both and you sit on your legs. You know, silently. 1988. In 2002, God brings me a Muganda man. And God tells me, You remember where I took you for training? I didn't know God was part of this. You remember where I took you for training in 1988? I was training for a Muganda man. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. You know the Hima kind of behavior character. You know the worldly system don't work with God. That's why when we are born again this way, we call you to train you the new system of God. You must change by your means. That speech must be dropped. You know your wicked behavior. You have. The behavior of your home does not work this way. Your dress code of those ends. Don't work. Your systems of that side don't work this way. Someone say amen. Whether you like it or not. You must change. Speak peaceably with your wife. Speak peaceably with your husband. Because my, you know, my father-in-law is out there. He wants to come as this rascal. And the husband. Just by my spirit. Wanji! Yeah! I was just newly married. The Bible says. Mungero. In Proverbs. Proverbs. 1728. I'm speaking to the man. You are failing because of that kind of character. Again. 
Bamuita mugez wa magez. Era. Bwabunize mimwaji, bamuloza nga mutegebe. Yes, take it into take it. Um, siru. When a fool is siru, what would you know? Musiru, you know, siru. when you take it, double musiru. You are musiru and only a bee. Brasil, Cabala, the other and go on, go my booty. When he's silent, you are the only one who has a father. You'd rather keep silent. Kubanga security is a mukugoba mucha. I don't believe in chasing your wife away. I cast that there night. Katindi wa none no nyama. Now I'm here searching. Saka na mami simugiri de yejusi. I don't want Mr. Simugiri to regret. Saka na yejusi agamete. I don't want him to. Atenga yejusi ako yogola. He has ever regretted. One day Satan said. Grace na yejusi za. Regret, Grace. Why have I ever married you? Unga teye ba kamusajja wa. Oji mani tuno mo magukoza. Even your mouth can make someone slim. Usai dizon. On all sides. Muchara wumuwe mire. Give your wife peace. Yugira na yebo runj. Speak peaceably to him, to her. Tomo panda bo panzi. Don't just climb them. Do they understand what I'm saying? Praise the name of Jesus. They understand that. Praise the Lord. There is. There's a brother somewhere that we went. It was a long journey for a burial. When we got there, praise the Lord. This person had two wives and were there weeping. But the elder wife said these words. What a pity. You know, the young son, the young man, 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 she said, this was a miracle from God. He had got a job. He had got a job. He Dad is going to work from this side. We should take you away from home to rent for you. And the man died right there. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. The man died. And the elder wife, even as she cries, she's just laughing because they found rest. Today, so in the name of Jesus, I said, What? Pastor, you know, I have a bad name of a widow, but I have rest. It's a bad title of a widow, but she have rest. Very painful. If you die the next day, and the husband says, at least, or you die, and the wife says, oh, good, good readings. Oh, no. Please have some shame. You'll die in the name of Jesus. Be honest when I say, I'm really born again, Pastor. Only that I have some children. Today, Jesus. There are things I want you to tell God. And say, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me. May God bless you. He has talked about my vices. You may see me here. I don't want this. No one can talk about those vices apart from your friend. Praise the Lord. Tell
Here you praise me. Don't know again. This business of pretense. I allowed him to speak. I pretended like a but I've heard it. I don't do it the next day. Let your husband speak. Let your wife speak. Amen. He is my father now. He is my husband. My father. My friend. He is the one that cannot cover up my sin. But we are strayed from a mother's wombs. Someone say, if he was straight from one of Funyamaka, he was no and you're now avoiding your husband, you are avoiding your wife. You actually must be Please be ashamed. You are stuck on that yeah. uh, And then you start. Mm, mm. Yeah. Please stop. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says. Catch the little foxes. Those small things you despise. Your man doesn't want that filthiness. Nyamba. That dirtiness. Nyamba. Just help us. Muyongi. Clean him up. Wear his clothes. How do you use those for, for two weeks? You know, the lines form you know, on the face. Whatever you have, don't look at it. Don't allow the devil to come into your head. Don't open those for the devil. You know, repent to that woman. When he repents to you, listen to him. You are not God. Please, when she says forgive me, forgive her. There's a friend of mine here who took me from here. Mr. Smogere, he trusts me. He knows a man used to take me somewhere to go and speak to the wife. To speak to the wife. You know, there are people who have love and you're like, God, I got my wife with a man. Come and speak to her, please. I stopped. The one you forgot me, you know what to do. You have another one. There's one that I just come and the husband's going. I think he found another man. <laughs> when I get to her, I just know she's <laughs> gone. I'm going to go and see what I'm going to do. Because he walks abroad when he comes home. 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 Because he walks abroad when he called me to ask how is the wife now there is a thing she is she is married with six children oh, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying today in the name of Jesus I just request that God give us the grace to bear that fast allow us to pray and to bow Accept your mistakes. Praise Jesus. Anyone saying, Pastor, forgive that person. Please forgive them. Forgive your friends. Forgive them. I'm not talking about forgiveness. But forgive that man if you want to see. Don't sow that seed among you. If you cannot forgive your friends. You have just married your children. What you think your children are seeing as you refuse to forgive them? If you can't forgive that woman, we are doing things. We are going to leave a wrong foundation for children because you cannot forgive that woman. You refuse to sleep with her. You refuse to sleep with her. You refuse to sleep with her. Why? That's where promiscuity is very rampant. In the midst of us, we are going to repent. I told you. For me to be married in my training, I was trained for it. So you too will have to pay. Please, you are too bad. There is no even that. 
Mr. Smogel. One day he rose up. And yet, me. And was fasting. <laughs> He was dry, committed to God. I don't know what I did. That day, I am my God. He lost it all. Today, in the name of Jesus. After calling. Now quickly. before your wife. Anyone getting that? Hallelujah. Amen. Please now kneel down. I'm sorry. We're going to be who are married, not wedded, we must be wedded. Amen. Someone saying, Pastor God, I'm talking about your character. You speak perversely. Man, you speak perversely. There's something I discovered. There's difference between confession and transformation. When you confess, you never go forward. You just have a badge of salvation, but Jesus is zero. Yes, we are Jesus is zero. Yes, we are Today, in the name of Jesus, you must transform. You must show that Jesus transformed. Your behavior must change. Someone say, Amen. The Bible says in the book of James, as a word, James chapter 3, verse 13, what shows you understand is your behavior, your acts. Your acts. Your acts. Your acts. Don't stay in that group. Don't cause your wife or husband to sulk and regret. Your mother cannot cancel you anymore. Your father is not there. They gave you the help or can speak to your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Akadakoka <laughs> Sensuality fails your marriage. I wonder this man called uh, Samson. Samson in Judges 16. Praise the Lord. Delilah made him have the eyes scooped out. But the greatest feast was the sacrifice to their God Dagon I will say this again Samson, when Samson received the Lila that caused him to lose the eyes the Philistines bound him then tortured him they gave him money but they sacrificed to the demons called Dagon yes so they celebrate the marriage and say, oh, thank you, Dagon, for having given power to the Lord. The problem is your family spirits. The reason you are very hard is because of spirits. Your family demons. How many people are married in your home? In your How many people have had money from God? Those demons, demons see you about to get money. And they bring you. If you are a child and, and ever become rich, you cannot. 
You cannot go. Just try. Because you think you're good. You try out. That's where your life will end. I don't know if you know something. The family demons are not resting. I don't know if you know something. They gone. Is the one that empowered the liar to fail Samson. So your family demons are the ones using you. The family demons bring you friends, people to today in the name of Jesus. That friend who is not married, what are they doing with you? Which kind of counsel do they give you? Which kind of counsel? You know. You cannot handle that. Are they going to marry angels themselves? Someone the Lord. Last thing. Last thing. The scripture, if you have no bitter envy, no you know, and so sick in your hearts, it can be within, not out in your heart. Don't deceive against the You are doing that because of sensuality. The people among whom you live and the demons, they are the ones failing our marriages. It's not a job. God gives you marriage. You are playing around. Look at you. Mama, Mama, Mama. Mama Kawenga. Mama Kawenga. Angi? Yes. Ati wasigaza ni Mama Kawenga. Bakula bakula bongo mufu. Mama Kawenga. Mama Kawenga. You are in a marriage that you are foiled it. Look at you now. Mama Kawenga. Praise the Lord. Today, in the name of Jesus, go back and put things right. Go back, put things right. Go back and put your name right. Don't take things for granted. You know, you know things like that. Okay. You just know you are moving and stop it. You are going to go to the house. stop at Nkumba. Don't take things for granted. Huh? I did. Tell them. Forgive me. Forgive <laughs> me. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a different story. <laughs> you get a balloon. Be a you are all and you can't <laughs> talk. <laughs> you want to go and try out outside. Eh? <laughs> Anything coming to your mind? We are not here to mince words. Your marriage is breaking. You're, you're mishandling people. When we go there, you, you just, they just come roughly, you know. You roughly like a god. You take years in marriage. Please, please, please. We have to refresh everything. Marriages must be refreshed. That kind of character. That kind of character. Wherever we grow up, that behavior. There. My mother. I'm winding up with this one. My late mother. She was a very good Rwandan. <laughs> oh. Very dirty though. I had very many friends. Wherever she could go, friends. I could be told. She is her time for home. Today, my father became a doctor because of my late mother. She could not leave her. My husband, my father, was a very good. I'm coming back home. He didn't even have milk for. Mama, my mother had left home when he had not prepared for her and had not prepared for her. Could leave some cassava for us. We ate some raw He couldn't eat such. When our father would talk to her, she could get angry for a month. She could clean it. Pastor, gave me my verse in Proverbs. God, God hates such a woman that, you know, 
keeps Mama, now you can yes, walking her <laughs> soft every now. She could coil in and Mwezi, full mouth. Oh, boy, yeah. Right then, after a month, you get slapped in the bedroom. Kati baba ruani agenda kumare miezi mukaa. When they get six months, 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 they can't wait for you. Look at you. Ate kati mara kukura nente gera. After I'd grown up, that's when I understood. She could all get angry. You understand know what I'm saying? Very dirty. You're very annoyed. Ngalinda bwe. He couldn't Taka wait for So he started sleeping around. around. He was in the doctor's office. It just started oh, with this man. man. So don't Taba open the door for the devil. Look at you. Look at you. Marriage is a breaking. All the glory and honor. All your beauty will be lost. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of us understand what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the character. Your behavior is the problem. You are refusing to change. You are born again. We are just counting years. But you are not changing at all. You are not changing. Praise the Lord. I'm sure. That have been brief. We have time for questions. You are going to write your question. Daddy is going to speak. The doctor will present. But now, I want us to take time to pray. Even if it's five minutes, tell God to have mercy. Give me the grace to overcome this. Please. Listen to what your friends said. Even if your mouth is smelling, you are afraid to be pleased. Don't get mad. If it's not mine, please. It's not yours. It's her mouth or his mouth. You get the point? Bathe. Don't become a problem to your friend. This is physical among men. Someone recently came and said, It is very cold. It is very cold. You need God, your people. Praise the Lord. You know, if it's very cold. Don't bathe when it's cold. So prepare yourself for hot water. Someone is like, don't water. You don't want the cold water. You don't want the cold water. How do you put on one panty for three days? Please? Wash those panties for your husband. Allow her. What does she know about you anyway? Let her or him wash. You wash, wash and wash. just wash. They are all very They are all, very they are all you know. Praise the Lord. I plead with you, please. Learn to speak. Peaceably. I discovered. I speak with Mr. Sumi. And when I hand him well, he understands. Me. Praise the Lord. Speak to your wife peaceably. Tell him, recently, I don't understand you. Get a better brazier. How come your breast is much bigger? Get a better breeze here. Show her. Tambula. Musumba kanyanje ya gamanti. Pastor kanyanje said. Katina haba fuba anji. Baba ya batambula ya kubimuli. Funa ya kamuli wa mga menti. Hani. Kana wakamuli. You know this flower. Tuta wana. Tuo yina sente zikula sumbusi. You don't have money to buy. Na yina wakamuli. You can. And an hour. You know. We are going to pray now. I may not have mentioned your point. But tell him, Lord, forgive me. This thing now. Concerning this. Salvation is about transformation. You get the point? I am a pastor. I know how to speak to others when I have not changed. I am telling you the truth. 
Mutundwe. At Mutundwe. I entered there and there is no one I've ever quarreled with. They all know Mutundu. among the best pastors of Mutundwe. But this way they are crying. You get the point? They are the way they know a very holy one. This way is my regular copy. I bring out my true characters and everything. I know what it means for others to be fit. I'm talking about your personal character. You think you're very right, but you're very wrong. Speak to God now. Speak to the Lord. Holy Spirit. Have mercy on me. Give me the grace to change. Give me the grace to do what I couldn't. Holy Spirit. Enable me to do your will. Not my will. I want you to do God's will. Not your will. ことんだここぜそこあがらこえそころこにえざまかよけらこねもかもとしてたまかスペクトガーエメンよけらねもかもスペクトガーさあプレイナーもがんでテリンそばぜさエネイボミンやからこたんばらなあわんとわくやから
Hallelujah. I want to speak to the women. I realized that salvation was started by God. And so is marriage. There are things that you cannot handle, but God will handle I could tell you to forgive that man. Tell you to forgive that woman. When it's not proper, may God give you the power to do his work. Jesus never wanted to die. I said, if possible, let this cup be taken away from me. But not my will. Let your will be done. He was sent an angel to strengthen him to overcome. May God give you the power to overcome. May God give you the strength to, to have that marriage because people don't have marriages. They don't have one wife in your family. They told Pastor Smogere. The auntie said, Sim, you are telling lies. We, the Lugave clan have, you can't have one wife. We say, when you give that young girl, the debt will be clear. You must learn to cry for the grace of God and say, Holy Spirit, I cannot have this, but give him the grace. May God enable you, man. May God enable you, man. That one is not an angel that you are. And God will demand you don't confuse yourself. If those people die, die outside, their blood will be counted on you. Please 